Welcome to the second video in my how to build a computer series. Uh, in this video I'm going to be starting the ALU. I've decided to skip out the input registers and do that after I finish the ALU. Uh, because the ALU is probably one of the most important parts of the, of, of the, uh, of the computer. Um, okay, let's get straight into it. This is probably not going to be the most compact ALU you've seen. Uh, I've built two wide ones, but um, for this like demonstration purposes, it's only going to be far wide. Okay, so these are going to be uh, two uh, two bits for our for our first um, first part. I'm not sure what to call it. Sorry. <laughs> um, so these will both be ones. The first function we're going to uh, include is a zeroing function. So no matter what the inputs will be, when uh, when we run this command it will just set them both to zero. So if we invert them and then re oops, re invert them we will be able oops, I'll probably need to take this out one more. Yeah that'd be better. And then uh, Oops, let's wire these up. And then add our first line of enablers onto here. So uh, if we take this, uh, oh, look at that, we've so many mistakes. Okay, we'll need to invert this. I'll explain it in a minute, and now I'm uh, not doing a very good job of explaining this so far. <laughs> okay. So at the moment, these are your two outputs. If I uh, input a 1, it goes straight through. But if I hit this, it will zero it, and uh, so set this to zero. So that's basically how this one works. And then I'm going to have a second one here to do the B inputs. Oops. So this line is going to be our A input, uh, our A inputs, and this one will do the B inputs because the right is the A and the left is the B. Okay. Um, shall I label these? Yeah. Okay. Zero B and zero A. Our next function will be, uh, I'm going to do the um, the inverting function, or the nutting function. So this is a, this is a way of, um, building a not gate, well like a toggle not gate, so I think if we, go like this this should work pistons in here Oops. let me just check if this works okay so the output is on at the moment so uh, the inputs on to so the outputs on click the switch and that doesn't work. Oh, that's why. Need that there. there. Okay, so that's turning that off. And now if I uh, break this a second, yep, that turns it on. Okay. So that is our. That is how we're going to do our. Um, or inverting on not function. So we just repeat it for the uh, for the B inputs. I know there are much quicker ways of doing a inverter, but I think this uh, I think this way is quite compact, and even if it is a bit slow. I'm not going to go for speed with this computer. 
Um, I just think there's no point when doing a demonstration video. Okay. Um, so this side, other side is going to be which we've done here. Okay, A on the right. So we're going to use a um, it's a glowstone glitch now. When you don't want a piston to be uh, to be extended when redstone goes over it, when that's when that redstone's powered, you put a block of glowstone there. So now, if I turn that on, that won't be powered, but that will be. Okay, and just do the the opposite for this side. And uh, ooh, I'm gonna do this. I'll just a uh, sticker. See the signs in the end. Okay, so this is going to be um, invert A and invert B. Okay. That's our first four functions done. I'm probably going to end the video now and let you build this because I've built it quite quickly. So yeah, please like, rate, comment and subscribe and um, please watch the next video.